This is an interesting setting, isn't it? <laughs> Yahoo! -hoo! Welcome, my beautiful brothers and sisters, fellow radiators of love, to Astro Phoenix, flying into the moment yet again and radiating love as always. And welcome to your moon in Taurus transit video for this lunar cycle. I'm a little bit late to the game which kind of actually has a bit of a Taurus vibe and actually interesting enough the theme for this moon in transit this moon in Taurus transit video is relax and develop the moon is going to be crossing over Mars today in fact at the time of me making this the moon is at 17 degrees 59 minutes of Taurus and Mars is actually at 17 degrees and zero minutes of Taurus. So the moon is coming off of the tight conjunction to Mars. And Mars today is going to be wanting us to bring our hearts and our spirit together if you follow step astrology and start to make a decision. And the moon is also going to be trining over to Saturn today. It'll trine over to Pluto later on. And this is a time where we don't necessarily want to force anything. We don't necessarily want to force our reality. We don't necessarily want to force these, these decisions. Because in a deeper sense, our spirits and souls know which direction to go in right now. But this is a, not a time to force the issue. This is a time to recognize what our spirit and our soul is wanting us to know and then to continue to develop ourselves, to continue to develop whatever we are moving towards. The moon in Taurus is exalted in Taurus, of course. It likes to be here. It likes to relax. It likes to chill out. But this conjunction to Mars is going to give us a little bit of that urgency. But remember, remember, Mars doesn't like to be in Taurus. It would rather be in Scorpio. So it's like even though the moon is exalted here, Mars prefer not to be here. They would rather be in the opposite side. This is one of those moments today and you'll feel it, you probably felt it yesterday and you'll feel it tonight and going into the first part of tomorrow where we are definitely feeling inspired to move forward and to take action. But we still have to remember this moon in Taurus is going to make the sextile over to Mercury retrograde. And of course, it's going to sextile, you know, the sun too, if it hasn't already actually at this point. So, this is a time to kind of relax and be like, you know what, I am exactly where I need to be right now. That's not to say that you can't move forward and get things done, but also just kind of relax. You don't need to force the issue right now. You don't need to build the empire right now. You don't need to build the whole thing right now, okay? You don't need to do the whole thing right now. You don't need to write the entire book right now, okay? Relax, chill. The only thing that maybe you want to do the entire thing right now is maybe marathon your favorite show or maybe have like a Harry Potter marathon or a Lord of the Rings marathon or so forth. Of course, by the time that you finish that, it'll, the moon will probably come into Gemini, right? <laughs> Especially a Lord of the Rings marathon with the extended cuts and everything like that. But this is the time to relax and develop. You can actually get a lot of work done by taking chill time, by having downtime. You can refresh your spirit, refresh your soul. So by the time that the moon comes into Gemini and it actually begins to try Venus, then you're really going to start to find the right conversations, the right people, and really begin to move forward in a more positive way. But this is a time to relax, allow things to kind of percolate, but also develop. Don't take, you don't have to take a thousand steps today. Just take one step, two steps, three steps. Just, make, just take action towards what you're wanting to build, but don't feel pressurized to build the entire thing right now. And that's going to be it for your Moon and Taurus transit video. I know it's a little bit late, but I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And you all have a lovely, blessed day.